Aloha, welcome friends. Uh, today we're gonna be going over how to repair and replace a broken bolt on a Volkswagen bus uh, bumper bracket. Uh, so this is something that often happens on older Volkswagens uh, as those bolts get rusted and they don't come out, sometimes they break. So today we're gonna be uh, going over how to replace one of those. This may work for you or it might be something different you have to, uh, you have to address, uh, but what I have going on is um, the welded nut on the back side of the chassis has snapped off. So that's gonna be a certain kind of repair and I'm gonna go over that now. I'll show you what I got for materials. Okay, in my situation here, uh, imagine that this is the uh, chassis, uh, part of the chassis that the bumper gets uh, bolted onto. So um, what I think is happening here, and I can't see underneath there because it's all closed off. Um, and if I'm wrong, please uh, put it in the comments and, and correct me. But I think what I have going on here is a nut that has been tack welded to the underside of the chassis. And then the bumper bolt comes up and threads onto that nut that has been tack welded on. Um, and then of course the bumper bracket goes right here. Um, in trying to remove my bolt uh, that was very rusted, I think what happened is it snapped the welds off of the nut and so the nut is gone. So the bolt will slide up in there but there's nothing for it to thread onto. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and um, replace um, this back here with a riv nut um, that is available for from Go Westy, and I'll show you what that looks like. So I got the largest one they make, which is an M10 bolt. It's good for an M10 bolt. And so what you do is you take um, this one calls for a 1732nd um, drill bit hole, and so I got one of those. I'm going to drill that hole out, um, and then kind of test fit it to make sure this is the riv nut itself right here. You push that in, kind of tap it in. Hopefully you got a nice snug fit. And this, there's a slip um, nut, they call that, uh, along with this serrated washer that goes on. And then you tighten the bolt down. And, um, and I'm guessing hold this in place and then this compresses and forms a nice uh, snug fit that you can bolt uh, your, or you can um, put your bolt into um, after you remove everything. So we're gonna try this out. Um, I got a replacement bolt um, that's the right size that I can use for the bumper bolt. And the nice thing about it is um, Go Westy does a really nice job with all of their instructions. So I'm just gonna follow the instructions to the T and uh, see how this goes. So first things first, I'm gonna to have to remove this bumper. Uh, right now it's only being held on by uh, three out of the four bolts, uh, which definitely does not make me feel very good. It's a big heavy bumper uh, and I'll be a lot happier when there's four bolts holding that thing on. All right, to remove your bumper, you're gonna need a 19 millimeter socket um, along with probably an extension. I like to use the half inch um, socket. It's a little bit bigger and you get a little bit more leverage off of it. Um, this can be a lot, little tricky if you're doing it um, one person, uh, especially with this one, it's kind of heavy. It's been reinforced uh, with some um, angle iron back there for the tow hitch. So the bumper itself is pretty heavy. So you're gonna undo bolts on one side and then maybe support it with something. Um, I um, often just support it with my knee or another part of my body as I move to the other side, uh, but it can get a little tricky. Um, so trial and error works best for that, um, but be prepared uh, for the weight of this thing as you're unbolting the, um, the bolts there. Okay, first of all, uh, I need to correct myself. Um, that was not a 19 millimeter, it was a 17 millimeter. So here's where the bumper bracket bolts on. This one's still good. As you can see, there's still some threads. This is the second one. There's no threads in there. And so whatever was back there uh, welded on for me to 
bolt that piece onto is gone. So here's my here's my drill bit, and I'm gonna see if I can take that hole and enlarge it a little bit so the rivet nut, rivet, uh, nut fits in there, and uh, then we'll try it out. Um, as you're drilling, always, if you're working with metal especially, always make sure you're wearing safety glasses so a piece doesn't go into your eye. Okay, we're set up. We're gonna give this a go. Um, something, a, a little tip an old timer gave me one time is to put a little light duty oil um, on your drill bit um, before you start drilling into metal. Okay, not bad. Let's check the fit. Here is our freshly drilled hole. Let's see if we have to hog it out at all. Oh, it's a little loose. It's not super snug. I'm gonna give this a go and see if this will work, but um, yeah, I think it's supposed to be a little tighter than that. Okay. Now let's see if we can back these out and see what's going on. Whole things rotating. I don't think it's quite ready yet. Pretty friggin' tight. Let's see if I can. Let's see what's going on here. I'm assuming that guy comes out, but maybe it stays. Anyways, check it out. You can see I now have threads in there. Woohoo! Okay, so this little serrated uh, slip washer did indeed pop off. And this is looking pretty legit. Here's the bolt that I got to replace threads in there really nicely. I think this is going to work super awesome. I'm very, very excited about this fix. I had no idea how I was going to get this. Uh, part working again, this piece working. All right, well, that's it for today's video. Everything went back together as it should. Bumpers on there, held on by four bolts um, like it should be. Um, I'm really happy with the quality of that rib nut from Go Westy. Definitely a double Shaka recommendation on that one. Um, so uh, you get the little tool um, and then you also order whatever size rib nut you need. Come in packs of six. I got the 10 because that's the big boy for the bumper bolts, um, but they also come in an eight and a six, I believe. Um, anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching. Mahalo. Uh, we'll see you next time. As always, uh, if you have any comments or anything, please feel free to leave them. Hit that like button um, and I'll get back to you uh, with response to your comments. And um, it's always a good idea to take your um, Volkswagen for a test drive after you work on it, no matter if it's mechanical or not. So I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll see you next time. Aloha. Thank <laughs> you.